morning beautiful people I'm Lupe I hope you're having a beautiful day so far today I'm showing you how to look poppin in your false eyelashes let's go ahead and get started on how to learn the whole process of the application of false eyelashes let's learn about the common mistakes and how to fix them right now alrighty guys so to apply your lashes you're going to need an eyelash curler your favorite pair of false eyelashes tweezers lash adhesive or glue and if you're just starting off with a new pair of false eyelashes then of course you need your scissors I also do want to mention that there are different sizes in terms of the lash band and that's what keeps the lashes intact that's this right here they can be thin they can be really really thin like this and they can be really really thick so if you are just learning how to apply your lashes, then I would definitely suggest starting off with the thin lash bands. They're just the easiest, easiest thing and just a little bit more comfortable also because if you're just not used to eyelashes in general, it can feel a little heavy. I'll be applying both of these in this tutorial. I'll be applying the thin lash band to show you really how easy and simple it is to apply and also the thicker lash band which is a little bit different to apply because it is a little bit thicker. It'll tend to lift off in the front here and also maybe the sides and also just in general you really have to shape them to your eye shape so that they're not just super super straight across which I have seen so let's get started with the eyelash that has the thinner lash band so the first thing I like to do is curl my lashes that way my natural lashes are going in the same direction as the false eyelashes which is curled up instead of having let's say my natural lashes like this and the false eyelashes like this. I haven't found anything as perfect, as freaking reliable as the duo lash glue. This is my ride or die for eyelash glue. I've seen other ones where it comes with an actual applicator. It, it looks like a little mini spatula. <laughs> All in all, I feel like my favorite is just the tube one, so I stick to the tube. What I hate seeing on here, <laughs> or what I've seen people do, is they take their, their glue, their adhesive, and they put it on the back of their hand. They take their eyelash, and then they just run it through. The problem with that is just a waste of product, because then you're left with a glob of glue that you just have to remove and just throw away. That's a waste of money, girl. With this method, however, I like to wait a couple of seconds to see if any glue is coming out on its own due to the pressure once the cap is released. You don't want a big splat. <laughs> I keep saying splat, splat, splat. Uh, a big glob coming out and being applied on the lash itself. So once I see that everything is working properly, everything is up to my control with squeezing, I take the eyelash here and start to cover the lash band in glue. Now this particular eyelash here is already in my size. I've already cut it to my size, but I will show you how I cut my other ones, the thicker ones, later on in this tutorial. I wait about maybe 20 seconds for about the time that I get ready to get my mirror. <laughs> Put my mirror like this up front, covering my nose, my mouth, my chin. Typically the position of the tweezers is in the center of the eyelash and so that would match the center of my eyeball and that's how I decide where to apply the lash. And then I like to focus on the outer corner first because I don't want that to stick out enough to make it look super super fake and really floppy looking. I focus on this area first, pulling as much as I need to. And by pulling, I just mean like stringing that lash along. And then I get the inner corner here. And then I make sure the center is secure. Then using my fingers, I just give it a little nudge against my skin, against the lash, lash line. 
as you can tell in the up close shot, the biggest pro of these false eyelashes with thin lash bands is that you don't need any, you don't need any, any, any eyeliner to cover up the lash band because it just looks like it's part of your skin, it's part of your natural lash band, your natural lash band, which is the upper lash line, yes. <laughs> of course right now my natural eyelashes do not and are not blending correctly to the false eyelashes, but uh, that's because I didn't apply that much mascara. But once you apply your mascara, blend those lashes together and you're good to go. And I do mention that I apply my mascara after I'm done with everything, everything. Eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyelashes, uh, glitter, anything else? I don't know. That's pretty much my last final step in my eye makeup routine. A huge reason why I apply my mascara after everything is because if you apply your mascara, let's say before applying your false eyelashes, which a lot of people do, and uh, it's frowned upon me. <laughs> um, once you apply your mascara and then the eyelashes, once you apply your mascara and then the false eyelashes, there isn't that beautiful blend of your natural lashes with the false eyelashes. And if there is, it's because you're going back with that mascara to apply again like so, so much that they become clumpy and your false eyelashes will also be used up a lot quicker if you do it this way because you're going to spend some time removing that gunk when you're cleaning and washing your false eyelashes. And of course, a lot of tugging, a lot of washing can really just, you know, lessen the quality of your false eyelashes. Now, a big question here is how did I determine that this was the correct space, that that was the correct position of where I applied these false eyelashes? Two things can happen if you don't center your false eyelashes. First, let's say for example, you decide to apply the false eyelash way, way too close to the tear duct. So let's say you apply your false eyelashes all the way to the inner corner. This is what it looks like. It may work if you're taking pictures because I know a lot of Instagram pictures up close, they're, like, their lashes look so, so full from the very beginning. Cool. I know I, I can see how that works for a picture, but in real life, it just doesn't look nice. It just doesn't look natural. Your lashes don't grow all the way into the inner corner, and if they do, they're not as long and as prominent as these look right now. Now, the second mistake that can happen here is that the eyelash is too far out. The eyelash is either place too far out or it just wasn't cut to your size. It's literally just hanging. So let's say for example you place your eyelash, it's a little bit too far out. You like the look because it makes your eyes look longer and bigger, but it just doesn't look um, great. So there it is. Don't do this. Moving on to the thicker lashes here, I would say these are for the pros because they can be a little bit difficult to apply when you're first starting out. For today, I'm just creating a wing eyeliner look, nothing too extravagant. I really wanna show you how having a dark base or a black eyeliner base is really just uh, essential for the eyelash to sit on. These are the lashes I'll be using. These are the iconic lashes, which are my absolute favorite. I feel like I just cannot find any other eyelash that I love as much as I love these. So right now these lashes do not fit me. So the way you want to analyze the situation here is take the eyelash with your tweezers, place it in the center, and if I squint my eye, you can see whatever is left hanging, that's what I'm about to cut off. I'll be cutting off about here. Apply some glue on the lash band, focusing on the inner and outer corner. Now I'm placing the lashes. You can tilt your head a little bit backwards if that's a little bit easier for you. You can do it straight on. And so then just place it on. Once again, focus on the outer corners here. Typically with thicker lash bands, the lash band will kind of distort the original eyeliner look that you created. So right now, if I look down, or you know, just close my eyes, you will kind of see that the eyeliner is not smooth. Make sure to cover up those tracks as I like to call them. Using a liquid pen eyeliner, I like to use a liquid pen eyeliner in this case, whether I use gel liner in the beginning, I like to use this because it won't tug at the lash glue and in general, the eye skin. 
the eye skin. Once I'm done smoothing out my eyeliner, I like to go ahead and apply some mascara to my top natural lashes. I don't go all the way up towards the fake eyelashes, just the base and the roots of my eyelashes. It's always a little bit difficult to get those tiny, tiny lashes at the outer corner here. So I like to open my eye wide and hope for the best. Before I go, this is how to remove your false eyelashes when you're so done with the day. Very slowly remove, place somewhere else. Just place them, place them where you won't lose them because they're pretty expensive. But that's pretty much that. Check out these other beautiful looks and tutorials where you can put your eyelash application to the test. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!